friends. So this is a different sort of video. Um, some of you may know, some of you may not. I am uh, planning a hike, a pilgrimage called the Mania Via Francigena. It is across Sicily from Palermo in the north to Agrigento in the south. It's 180 kilometers and it's hilly. It's going to take nine days. What do you bring for this kind of trip? You have to carry everything on your back or arrange for somebody to move your stuff for you. So, I'm actually staying, you know, you're not just like going, walking night days and coming home. Mm -mm. So, I've also got some other, you know, days where I won't be lugging my stuff, but I mean, I have to lug it. Yeah. So, anyway, here's what I'm planning to bring. And it, it's heavy. So, I'm already doubting and like feeling like somehow I should bring less. But I don't know if that's feasible. I'm bringing my guidebook. This could be optional. It's some weight. Dang it, fly. Um, that I could probably not carry. But it would be nice to have, you know, a written account. Um, was I like books? I'm bringing my credenziale like a little passport book that I get stamped along the way to prove that I am an authentic human <laughs> that I traveled this route. Bringing a journal. The weight of this is not inconsiderable, but come on. I, I'm going to have like so many days alone with my thoughts that I got to have something to write them down in. A fountain pen. A fountain pen. This is a Twizz Go. It's a cheap one. As far as these things go, it's inexpensive and easily replaceable, which was, you know, I'm going to bring, if not this, some other, like, ballpoint or gel pen. A deck of playing cards. I got these free at work. My last job. My ARFID blocking wallet that has passport, money, and cards. This will be on my person at all times. I am bringing this, it's my phone, a spy camera. And by spy camera, I mean it's a camera that's spying on me. I'm, I'm sketch about it. But I'm excited. I'm going to try and take video of the thing. An extra SD card for it. A headlamp that hopefully I never use. Let's see how many things we hope I never have to use. I have this uh, Garmin device. It does SOS as well as just like checking in and sending my GPS coordinates to people just like my mom and saying, Hi, I'm here. Um, I will be using this, but hopefully not in its SOS capacity. This um, MP3 player. They're very heavy. Gosh, why does it have to be so heavy? Power brick, so I can charge things if I need to. Some little earbuds with a dongle. So this will listen to, this will plug into my MP3 player and my phone. Remember in those days when you didn't need a dongle to plug into your phone? Pepperidge Farm remembers. I'm gonna have this charger, maybe at least one other charger. Well, definitely at least one other charger. I have uh, a couple, three, no, I have two USB-A to USB-C cables, one USB-C, USB-C cable, and one USD micro to USB-A cable. Those letters, SIF seems to have meaning now. Um, my FU, noise canceling headphones. These are great for flights because it's real obvious you don't want to be talked to. 
Um, but also they're good for just blocking out noise in general if you need. Um, wish I didn't. They're heavy, but whatever. I want them. Uh, and I'm missing something. Whatever. Uh, oh, I have a little cube power thing that um, I will put in here. Then we have my hydration bladder. Uh, this is about a three liter capacity, but I just did 12 miles yesterday and drank only one to one and a half liters, so it should be fine. Not yesterday, the day before. I have um, the waterproof cover for my backpack, some eyeglasses, because I can no longer read things without them, some sunglasses, my tent pole, tent poles, hiking poles, I mean my backpack, obviously. I have four packs of electrolyte chewy things that I'm hoping are enough. A number of bars that I'm still waffling about because there will be food there that I can bring with me. Like I could buy food like arancini and bring that with me. But I don't usually eat when I'm walking. Like I'll eat stuff like this. So I'm, I kind of feel like I should just go with what I know. I hate it when I run accidentally. Then we have all sorts of stuff that we hope that we don't have to use. Um, these are some good N95 masks for planes and public transportation. I'll be on trains and buses. A quick dry towel. Did I just... Tissues for the inevitable runny nose. I gotta get another pack of those. This is for blisters. This is a tape that goes around you to help prevent blisters. And then these are little sleeves that go around your little toeses so you don't get pinch blisters. Some antiseptic ointment for upset tummies. I have my, this is some random kit that I got from REI and I added one thing to it which is nail clippers that's a must for hiking nail clippers I mean and, and it's a sanitizing wrap I have a baggie with toilet paper and I hope I never have to use this. An ace bandage. Some folding scissors. A little thing with some pills. So it should have pain relief. It has Benadryl in case of bites. Actually does it, yeah. And some sleep stuff. And an emergency blanket. Also... Hope I never have to use. I hate that I have to bring so much stuff that I don't have to use, but here we are. I will have to buy sunscreen when I am there because the sunscreen I have is too big because I think I can carry on my backpack, so I can't bring the full size, but I can buy that there. They have good sunscreen in Europe. Toiletries. I tell you, all of my weight is in these two little bags. They're so dense. Comb. This is the heaviest thing in here. Toothpaste, lotion, clothes wash, hand sanitizer, face wash. And the hand sanitizer is useful for not just like, I'm afraid of getting sick, but also for, you know, cleaning wounds. Tooth floss things, deodorant, nail file, toothbrush, uh, petroleum jelly lip stuff, which is also good for other stuff. 
tweezers, which will be good for removing ticks that I hope I don't ever have to deal with ever in my life, ever, ever. Um, the timer going off, quick stop. Another heavy bag that I'm thinking I should rethink. Maybe, these are what I'm rethinking. They're just cheap little shoes that I could wear for putzing around in the town. I'm gonna leave them out because I might not bring them. I'm like heavily rethinking them. Hiking sandals, so I could actually wear these to hike in or I could wear them as like, I, my feet need to be not in, in socks right now. And they're in this bag that I can put dirty clothes in or dirty other things. I don't know what other things, but they're dirty. Then that's all the stuff that's not clothes. And the clothing is like the least of it in some ways. So rain pants, rain coat, rolled up and ready to go. Swimsuit made this I'm excited by it look at that fabric yeah mm -hmm. um, I have tank top and shorts for like, sleeping lounging so many pairs of socks <laughs> this is four pairs of wool socks this won't include the pair that I'm wearing it's fine you can't have too many socks and then one change of clothes for hiking. So this is what I'll wear when I'm hiking. And I have an outfit that's basically exactly like this that's in the wash right now. And that's what I'll wear on the plane. And my hiking hat keeps the I actually typically have to wear it like folded up in the back so it goes over the top of my backpack. Um, oh, and I think I'm bringing these hiking shoes because they'll give me some more ankle protection and I feel like they might actually be lighter weight than my lower options. And I just hiked in them on a fairly warm day and my feet did not horribly overheat. So I think it's okay. The things that's not in there that I'm thinking that I should bring is something to put on if it's cold, like something lightweight but warm. I don't know what I have. I could bring, I have a really nice shawl. It's a cashmere though. Anyway, I could bring, or maybe it's really extra fine merino, but I could bring that. And something to wear to like walk around and not be in hiking clothes. So I was thinking a dress made out of something that doesn't wrinkle or much or that I don't care if it wrinkles. So those two things would be nice to add, but this bag is at about the max weight I want it to be at already. everything I bring is one more it's just like that bit more on my back literally on my back every day so I even look around at all these things and I don't know logically what I could leave behind maybe some of these toiletries it's like you're shedding you're happy to shed ounces or part of ounces and I I understand now about the ultra light gear uh, obsession because, you know, this is all extra weight, <laughs> which is, it hurts your joints more. Anyway, this is what I'm bringing. I will definitely do a follow up saying, gosh, I wouldn't wish I hadn't brought this or gosh, I wish I had brought that. Um, once I'm done, so that's exciting. Look forward to sharing that with you whenever that is. Um, 
I hope you've enjoyed this weird and rambly video. <laughs> oh, I'm also bringing my smartwatch, which I almost didn't think of because I'm wearing it, but it has GPS in it. Did I say my phone? I think I said my phone. I'm bringing my phone. But not my tablet. Like, what am I going to do in the evenings, y'all? Maybe I guess I'll write, like, the next great novel. Hmm. I'll let you know how that works out for me. <laughs> hey, thanks for hanging out with me for this. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Bye.